Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can switch the range of data cells used by a chart. If you accidentally selected the wrong cell range before creating the chart, or if you later want to switch the data that appears in a chart you have already created, it can help to note that you can change the data in a chart without creating a new chart. To change the data plotted within a chart, select the chart or a chart element. Then click the Select Data button in the Data Button group on the Design tab of the Chart Tools Contextual tab in the ribbon. Doing that then opens the Select Data Source dialog box. This dialog box lets you select the worksheet cells which contain the data and labels to plot in your chart. In the Chart Data Range field is a cell range reference to the currently selected chart data cells. To change the data range, click the Collapse Expand dialog box button at the right end of the Chart Data Range field to collapse the Select Data Source dialog box. You can then see the selected worksheet cells, which appear encircled by a blinking marquee. To select a new data range, click and drag over the worksheet cells that contain the new data to show within the chart. Then click the Collapse Expand dialog box button again to expand the Select Data Source dialog box. Then click the OK button in the dialog box to chart the newly selected data within the same chart. To edit and modify the chart's legend entries and axis labels, open the Select Data Source dialog box again by clicking the Select Data button in the Data Button group on the Design tab of the Chart Tools Contextual tab in the ribbon. In the Select Data Source dialog box, the Legend Entries Series section and the Horizontal Category Axis Label section both appear at the bottom of the dialog box. Also, note that you can switch the column and row data within the current chart data range by clicking the Switch Row Slash Column button to switch the row and column data in the chart. In the Legend Entries Series section, you can click the Add button to add another series to your chart. In the Edit Series dialog box that appears, click into the Series Name field. Then click the worksheet cell that contains the value to use as the label for the series. Alternatively, type a name for the series directly into the field. Then click into the Series Values field. Then click and drag over the worksheet cells that contain the values to show in the series. If needed, you can use the Collapse Expand dialog box buttons to help you select the cells. After adding the necessary cell references, click the OK button to add the series to the Legend Entries series list. Also, you can edit a selected series in this list to change its title or the cells referenced by the series. To do this, select the series in the Legend Entries series list to change. Then click the Edit button in the Legend Entries series list. As when adding a new series, the Edit Series dialog box then appears. You can change the cell references in either the Series Name or Series Values fields just as when creating a new series. Once again, when finished, click the OK button to change the series and return to the Legend Entries Series list in the Select Data Source dialog box. To delete a series in the Legend Entry Series list in the Select Data Source dialog box, click the name of the series in the list to remove. Then click the Remove button in this section to remove the series from being plotted in the chart. Note that this doesn't delete or otherwise affect the cells used by the series, it simply removes them from the chart. To change the order in which the series are plotted in the chart, start by selecting the series whose position you want to change from the Legend Entries series list in the Select Data Source dialog box. Then click the small Move Up and move down arrows in the Legend Entries series list to change the order of the selected series within the list. In the Horizontal Category Axis Labels section of the Select Data Source dialog box, you can change which cells are used for the axis labels in your chart. To do this, click the Edit button in the Horizontal Category Axis Labels section to open up the Axis Labels dialog box. Here you can select the cell range shown in the Axis Label Range field if needed, and then click and drag over the worksheet cells that contain the Axis Labels. You can use the Collapse Expand dialog box button if needed. 
After selecting these cells, click the OK button to return to the Select Data Source dialog box. To set how the chart interprets hidden and empty cells in your data range selection, click the Hidden and Empty Cells button in the lower left corner of the Select Data Source dialog box. In the Hidden and Empty Cell Settings dialog box that appears, select the desired option from the Show Empty Cells As section. You can show them as gaps in a line, zero value points in a line, or you can connect data points with line. After selecting your choice, you can check or uncheck the Show NA as an Empty Cell, or the Show Data in Hidden Rows and Columns checkboxes if desired and if available. The Show Data in Hidden Rows and Columns checkbox defaults to being unchecked, which hides the display of data in hidden rows and columns from your chart. You can check it to show that information in the chart. After choosing how to display hidden and empty cells, click the OK button to return to the Select Data Source dialog box. After using the Select Data Source dialog box, click the OK button to apply your changes to the chart data. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.